Hey everyone, I'm Erica Quest, Master Instructor for Balanced Body based in Southern California. And I'm here to give you a quick, effective, and fun creative core workout using the Active Motion Bar. Don't have an Active Motion Bar? No worries. Go ahead and grab a dowel, grab a broomstick, and let's get started. So come and lie down onto your back for me, please. Place the active motion bar about at the pelvis level. Notice how the weight is already starting to shift as that kind of leveling of the bar is on your pelvis right here. And let's start with some bridging or some articulated pelvic curls as you take an inhale. Exhale, notice how your spine is moving as you roll it up off the mat, keeping that dowel kind of here as level as you can, please. Inhale, pause at the top. Exhale as you roll your spine all the way down, right? So we're just getting a little spine mobility happening through the nervous system, through the trunk, through the core, just so that you can see kind of what you're working with right now today. Inhale and exhale. We always want to check in on our system and see if there's any areas that might feel a little sticky or stuck so we can give them some love or just Pay attention to them and modify as needed as we go through this little core series. Inhale and exhaling as you roll and articulate all the way down. Are you weighting each foot equally? I don't know. Don't judge yourself. Just notice as you come up if you're putting equal weight through your feet. Inhale and exhaling as you roll and articulate all the way down on this next one. Stay up in your bridge position for me, please. So rolling up holding this bridge position and now let's really feel that shift of the active motion bar variable load as you drop one hip down lift it back up and then drop the other hip down it feels so interesting as you start to activate a little bit of rotation through the spine and have to really accommodate for that variability of what's happening inside the active motion bar for four more times please and lift and last three and lift that hip up and starting to really feel the backs of the legs kick on and off here and last one here as you lift up hold pause inhale exhale as you roll yourself all the way down fantastic take that active motion bar reach it up to the ceiling arms are nice and strong take one leg and then the other leg into the tabletop position Really focusing here on trying to keep that weight quiet to get you started as you inhale, tip the knees woo, over to one side a little bit. Exhale as you come back and inhale. Remember, we're trying to keep the ball bearings that are inside the active motion bar as quiet as you can. You might be successful or you might not. Who knows? And exhale. One side is definitely more successful than the other for me. And last one like this. Exhaling as you come back. And now I want you to take the active motion bar over to one side as the legs go the other direction, really increasing that rotation. Exhale and firing up that trunk. As you inhale, take it to the other side. And exhale on the return, making sure you're really letting the breath Woo, drive the movement and exhale as you come back. Inhale, the bar shifts and the legs tip and exhaling on the return. You've got one more here. Inhale and exhale as you come back. Great job. From here, I want you to grab center with your hand, with one hand, and go ahead and let the other hand come down onto the floor. Turn the dowel or the active motion bar so that it's sort of like running the same length as your legs. And all I want you to do is drop one leg down and the active motion bar back. And exhale as you come back up. It's essentially a leg fold with a little bit of a shift of what's happening through that active motion bar. Woo! As you take it back and forward. And it really definitely activates different muscles here and through the sling system of the core as you're using this and doing this down and up with the leg and come back just a little giggle here one more as you inhale take it back and exhale bring it back up great job switch sides for me please 
and let's see what's happening on the other side. Remember, strong side, smart side here. So tap and come back up. And you can do a myriad of things here. You can try and keep the load smooth and try and not let it just dump into the end of the bar, or you can make it a little bit more vigorous. It's totally up to you here, four more. It's the benefit of having that variability of the load. And three, reaching back with that bar and tapping the floor with the toe. Two more times, inhale. And exhaling as you come up one more time and inhale, feeling that core stabilized and exhaling as you come up. Give yourself a moment, place both feet down onto the floor. Grab the bar, again, about shoulder distance apart with the arms. And now we're gonna lift the head, neck, and shoulders here as well, take an inhale. Exhale, as you lift the head, neck, and shoulders, the bar is gonna find about the top of the thighs. Inhale as you lower back down. So just seeing what your forward fold is right now. As you come up, and inhaling as you lower, and exhaling as you lift, and inhaling as you lower down. Good, four more, and exhale. Just starting to fire up a little bit of that mobility core. And three, and inhale, lower, exhale, blow all of that air out, two. And inhale, nice and strong through those wrists, and one. Good, now stay lifted with me, please, if you can. And inhale, take the bar over to one side. And exhale to center. Inhale over to the other side. Exhale, center. Inhale, rotate it. Exhale, center. And inhale. And exhale, center. Give me four more. And center. And three. And center. Good, two. And center, last one here. Rotate, oh my gosh, and center. And lower the head and lift the arms back up. Take those legs back up into the tabletop position. Do what we just did, and now we're gonna combine the legs as well as the bar. As you inhale, reach the bar away and the legs in front of you. Exhale, twist the bar and come back. Inhale, reach back, reach forward. Exhale as you twist and come back. Inhale. And exhale as you rotate. Good. Notice how that side of the body starts to activate a little bit more as you bring the bar towards the knees. Inhale, reach, extend. Exhale, back to center for four more. You've got this. And twist. And reach, extend. And three. And reach, extend. Good. And two. And last one here, team. And one, good, go ahead and put those feet back down onto the mat and lower the head back down. Again, take that bar up into both hands and now all I want you to do is shift one hand towards the other hand. So you're in more of an offset or a biased grip here. And what I'd like for you to do is bring your legs back up into the tabletop position. Exhale, lift the head, neck, and shoulders. Try and keep some of the bar, uh, or the bar relatively centered above the knees to get you started. And now all I want you to do is take the end of the bar that does not have the hand on it and dump it and center. Trying to keep that trunk a little bit more stable as you dump it and come back center. Woo! And dump that weight down and come back center. Again, dump it and come center. Notice what's happening on the other side of your core as you let that weight and that load go down to the end of the bar. It's very interesting on the muscles as well as your nervous system. Great. Lower your head for a moment while you switch your bias grip. Exhale again. Lift the head, neck, and shoulders. Try your other side. Here we go and dump that load down. Oh, wow, so different for me on this side. And down, and bring it back up. And exhale as you let it go down. That'll help you activate that outer line when the load goes down to the base of the bar. Good. Let's do two more, team. And drop it down. And center, you got it, last one, and drop and center and come back, even out those arms and lower the head back down. Feet come down onto the mat. Stretch the legs out nice and long, stretch the bar back behind you. Let's take a nice roll up to get to the seated position. Lift the bar up, 
Try and keep the weight or the ball bearings quiet as you lift all the way up to a seated position. Reaching forward with the bar and then exhaling as you roll yourself all the way down, bone by bone. Again, try not to let the weight shift. You want to keep it relatively quiet right now. Exhaling as you come up. Feeling that spine mobility here and the core activate in both directions to bring you up to sitting and to lower yourself back down onto the mat with control. Remember, this is all about quality of movement here, not about quantity of movement. And now all we're gonna do on these next few is change the direction of the bar. So now, as you lift the bar up, you're gonna gnaw woo, the chin to the chest, take it up along one side, make it center at the top and roll down to center. Then we'll take it over to the other side reaching back behind you and again lift the bar up to the other side whoa that load is going to shift again and then center at the top and roll yourself all the way down and through let's do one more to each side and exhale and lift reach forward and roll it down Great, feel that opposition of the bar to the feet. And other side, lift the bar, nod the chin, roll up, center yourself at the top, and stay in that seated position for me, please. Bend your knees, place the feet down on your mat. We're gonna go to Hawaii together because I want you to do a bit of kayaking with me with the active motion bar. So from here, reach your arms forward. You can absolutely stay at sitting, but I'm gonna take us into a little bit of a scoop, a half roll back. Not so much that you're collapsing on your lower back, but enough to where you can feel the deep abs start to engage. And all I want you to do is now take the bar over and center, and over and center, and over and center, and over and center. That weight is shifting and it's gonna definitely help you fire up some muscles of the trunk that might be a little lazy and center, and over, and center. Now hold it, go back two inches, then let's do it again, and down, and center. Good team, down, and center. Maybe getting a little more challenging, center, and down, and center, and down, and center. Last one here, and you're like, are we done yet, Erica? No, we're not, we're almost done. You're gonna roll back a little bit more and then see if you can find your balance on your sits bones. I hope you can. From here, you're gonna do that exact same thing, but in balance, down, center, down. Pick up the tempo if you can keep the quality with me. Down, center, good, four, center, and three, center, and two, center, and one, good job, hold it. Try and find your best teaser. And then lower the feet back down. Great job. Let's go into a bit of seated spine mobility with some spine stretch forward using the bar. Sit up as tall as you can here. Legs can be straight. If you need to softly bend your knees or perch yourself up onto a box, totally fine. Reach your active motion bar in front of you. Exhale, nod the chin to the chest. Roll down, feel the backs of those legs. Dynamic flexibility here and also spine mobility. Inhale, exhale as you nod the chin to the chest, roll, reach. And then rebuild yourself, come all the way back up. Make sure the shoulders are out of the ears. Feels very different holding about three pounds in the arms, this exercise. And yes, you're still working your core. Now hold here and exhale, rotate and center and rotate. Center. Try and keep the feet as stable as you can in this position and really take the twisting from your trunk or your core. And center for four, center and three, center you got it, two, center and one. A little upper body work there too. Great job. So we're going to finish with a little bit of kneeling work. So what I'd like for you to do is bring yourself up to a kneeling position. And I'm going to slightly face you so you can see what I'm doing a bit more. Make sure your tailbone is dropping a little bit so you're getting a bit more opening through your hips. And I want you to bring the bar above the head. If you can't do this, you can bring it down to shoulder height, okay? So bar is above the head. And what I'd like for you to do is just give me a little flexion to the side and let that weight go. Inhale as you come up. And 
Exhale over to the other side. Inhale, bringing it back up. Try to keep the face framed here if you can with the bar and noticing how when that weight goes down to the end, you might feel a little extra flex or a little stretch on the outer side of the body here. And four more. And lift. And three. And lift. And two. Good. Up one more time. And over. And come all the way up. Thanks for taking a quick core class with me. Again, I hope you enjoy the active motion bar or the use of a dowel along with this. Again, my name's Erica Quest, Balanced Body Master Instructor based in Southern California. See you again soon.